Now finally, if we have, uh, if we're able to identify the sequences of a bunch of fragments for a protein that we don't know, uh, now how do we put this together to actually figure out what order that all these fragments go in? So what helps is a, a technique called protein mass fingerprinting. And so what we can do is because uh, now we can get a lot of sequencing data, uh, which gives us uh, information about DNA um, that codes for different proteins inside the genome of many organisms. And so recall that DNA, if you know the DNA uh, code, uh, if you remember this from biology, you can know the messenger RNA or the RNA, and that of course codes directly for the protein. So by knowing the DNA sequence, we can predict uh, what type, the sequences of potential proteins throughout the genome. So we can look for different candidates within the genome, and we can do a hypothetical cleavage of each of these uh, with either, uh, for instance, trypsin or cyanogen bromine. Uh, cyanogen bromide. And so what we look for then are places where the cleavage sites are consistent with the fragments that we got and that the masses of these cleavage sites are consistent with the fragments we got. And so ones that match up give us the identity of the protein and the sequence of the entire uh, peptide.